Package separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, and thanks for joining us for our launch today. Falcon 9 is set to lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida, just under 17 minutes from now. Our 243rd overall mission to date and our 44th mission of the year. My name is Jesse Anderson and I'm an integration and test engineering manager here at SpaceX. And today we have a really cool payload on board the second stage. We're sending a space telescope for the European Space Agency to a Sun-Earth L2 transfer orbit, also known as the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2, which is nearly 1 million miles beyond Earth's orbit. This telescope's mission is to help answer the question... Stage 2 LOX float has started to help answer the question, what is the universe made of by exploring the cosmic mysteries of dark matter and dark energy? It will create an unmatched 3D map of the universe by observing billions of galaxies across 10 billion years of cosmic time across more than a third of the sky. The mission today was named after Greek mathematician and founder of geometry, Euclid of Alexandria. And since the density of matter and energy are linked to the geometry of the universe, the mission was named in his honor. The spacecraft today was built by the European Space Agency, or ESA, with contributions from the Euclid Consortium and NASA. In fact, over 3,500 people from 21 different countries were involved in making today's mission possible. After launch, Euclid will have a month-long commissioning phase while traveling to its final destination. After two months of performance verification, it will then be ready for its science operations to begin. ESA will need some time to process the data, but is anticipating sharing the first images with the public in the fall. In just a few minutes, we'll be joined by members of the ESA team to talk more about the mission, so stay tuned. At T minus 15 minutes and counting, we're well into propellant loading on the vehicle. Both the rocket and spacecraft are healthy. Weather is green and looks great over there in Florida, and range is ready to support liftoff at 11, 12 a.m. Eastern time. We do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at the same time if we don't lift off as scheduled today for any reason. Our Falcon 9 rocket and the Euclid payload rolled out to the pad from the hangar yesterday and went vertical a couple hours later. 